swelling, headache or a rash, asthma, colitis, fatigue or gas, what will today's symptom be? My loopy life with lupus. Good morning everybody. It is almost 7.30 in the morning. <coughs> I think I'm getting a cold. Uh, and I guess I can't complain too much about that because um, when I worked in the daycare, I had a constant cold for months on end. Um, I would just get over one and catch another one. And ever since leaving the daycare, I have not had a cold since then. So it's been over a year since I've had a cold, which is like a record for me. Um, at least, like, well, before I w got sick, before I was diagnosed, I rarely ever got a cold or flu or anything. But since being diagnosed, it was like always getting colds and stuff. So this is a record for me over a year. But so far, it doesn't seem like it's too, too bad. So I'm trying to catch it really quick. I'm going to take some cough medicine. And I'm going to make, um, I'm going to boil some water and put some lemon and honey in it. Um, and last night, it took me a citron before bed. So I'm hoping that it won't get too bad. I'm not surprised I got it this time, though, because my mom had a cold, um, or she felt like she was starting to get a cold when she was here on Saturday. Um, and then Sunday she said she felt terrible. She had a really bad cold. And then Jeremy had a cold um, last week. And he still has it a little bit right now. And his mom caught it over the weekend. So I'm surrounded by, you know, germs right now. So... <laughs> Um, I've been like obsessively sanitizing my hands and stuff, but, um, Jeremy, you know, he's coughed in my face, sneezed in my face. It was bound to happen. Um, but I just hope that it won't get too bad. Um, hold on. Sorry, guys. Sorry. There was like a long hair stuck to my sleeve. Um, so anyways, I got a call yesterday from the lupus clinic that they had a cancellation um, this morning. And so they said if I could take it, that would be great because otherwise they don't know how much longer I'd have to wait to get in. So um, I took it and I spoke to Jeremy's mom. I just, you know, I've done this before where when I have a morning appointment, I would just come in after my appointment and then work the four hours from whatever time I get there. But as it so turns out, she um, was planning to leave around 12.30 to go to her mother's. So we just kind of decided it wouldn't be worth my while to come in because I probably wouldn't be able to get in until 11 or so. And I'd only be there like an hour. So, um, so I'm going to have to make up the hours, which sucks, because that means I have eight hours now to make up because of last week when I didn't go on Monday. Um, I could have opted to not get paid, but I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to make up the hours, but it, it's not bad because generally the way it's worked before when I make up hours is that... Um, like, if she'll need me to stay, like, an hour or two um, so she can go see a friend or something. Um, so it's not like I'm going to make up all the eight hours in one day. It'll be broken up, so it'll just be, like, an hour here or two hours there. So, yeah. So, anyways, I am going to be going to the lupus clinic. I just have to quickly eat and get dressed and go. Um, I was supposed to get up at seven but I'm so tired I just got up like five minutes ago I didn't sleep very well at all um, my knee is a little bit swollen which is good because at least they'll see something um, and I think my thumbs are a bit swollen so hopefully they'll see that too 
Because the weird thing is, is that for a lot of people I've found, um, by the time they get to a doctor, their symptoms have like lessened or disappeared completely. And then there's like nothing to show the doctor. And so, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get ready and I'll check in later. So, just wanted to let you know what happened at the doctor's today. Um, so, my rheumatologist checked out all my joints, um, went over my symptoms, and she found seven joints to be affected, um, mostly in my fingers here, these ones and she found some swelling in them and she found some swelling in my uh, right knee which I knew that was there so she is going to try me on a new anti-inflammatory um, we're gonna stop the naproxen since it's not doing anything for me and she's going to have me just take ibuprofen, um, 600 milligrams, I think she said two to three times a day as needed. Um, but for the first week she wants me to take it like every day. I can't remember, I'll have to see when they fill the prescription what it says. But um, So she said that if after a week or two I don't see any improvements to contact her and they will try me on um, a short course of prednisone with a taper already built in so that I'm not on it for a long time. Um, otherwise, if it does work, great. Also the other thing is that because of the colitis, she said that the, the um, ibuprofen might um, irritate the colitis um, which has been settled without any treatment right now um, so she said also if um, it starts to upset my stomach then to definitely call her um, and they would I guess stop it or whatever um, so we'll see how it goes and pretty much it. There wasn't really anything else. They just did more blood work and they're just going to check my inflammation markers or whatever um, and see where they're at. And that's pretty much it. So I will be getting that filled tomorrow, I guess. Um, and we'll be starting on that and hopefully it will help. So that's the update guys. See you in the next video.